Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. This week I want to play around with Date Evanes. It's a date utility library within the Node.js or Dino or JavaScript world, right? So I'm gonna play around with it, go on a yeah, show you a little bit the tricks that you can do with that library and all together we will learn what did Evanas could do to our project. So are you ready? Let's go. So for date Evanas, I already prepared a basic example that I want to show you. Uh, one of the things that's for me very important is that we have here date Evanas uh, explained within the uh, imports map. And you can go to skypack.dev to get your date Evanes uh, library. Uh, Skypack is a really great uh, website. You just put cdn.skypack.dev slash and then your library name that you want to use uh, within the JavaScript or TypeScript ecosystem and it will be used within uh, Dino. So one of the things that I'm now gonna do is the no run index dot index dot yes right and it just prints out the right format. One of the things that's important, of course, uh, is that you need to know um, what the syntax is of um, your formatter. So in this case, we just have uh, hours, minutes, and you could even do, I think, seconds. So you can run this one here, and then you can put some seconds. Of course, if we add here something like this, you'll see that it also is being added within the uh, format of your hours, minutes, and seconds. Of course, DataVNS has a website with great documentation. So if you go to the documentation here, you can very easily uh, look into it and see what you could do with that. Here it says, Date Evanes includes some optional features as submodules in the MPM package. Here is a list of them in order of nesting. So um, Date Evanes really works well with uh, functional programming friendly variations of the functions. Uh, also ET, U, UTC is very important. If you are working with uh, with time zones, you know that it can be a pain in the ass to get it right in your application. So also there, take a look into it. It can save you a lot of things, right? Um, so add this is then a great example of using a submodule you can use the uh, functional programming variation and so on so here we have some kind of a uh, usage I'm, I'm going to see if i can go for for example format if i go here and i'm gonna search a little bit on format I hope uh, format a date and then I just want to know how to use it so here you have calendar year and how they are supposed to be used so could be a great one to just see, look into it and see okay I want to use, for example, uh, first quarter. Then you could, for example, just use this syntax. So let's try it out. It's nice to, to see if we can do it. I, I really like the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So let's go for that one. So let's do this. Let's remove this. Let's save it. Let's run it. Then you got first quarter. If we now remove one Q, we could have Q1, right? And that's also something that, that's really nice. If you say, okay, I just want, don't want to uh, display the 
real date but I just want to see in which quarter it falls you can just go and use that uh, syntax to get that result so we could do the same for the week so this one is also something that's very nice to use but of course you know the drill already just go to the documentation and then of course you can see okay uh, the, the the first of, of uh, January is the uh, um, the seventh strange seventh week. Hmm. Yeah, but I think yeah, it's 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 the eleventh of February, of course, and that could be indeed the seventh week because the date starts from zero to to eleven for the months. So if we do zero here, we get the second week. Of course, we're going back for February and then it will use the seventh week. So another great functionality could be just uh, sorting. So you can sort out your uh, dates uh, very well when you have an array of dates. Um, of course, if we now do here console dot log and then uh, dot log and then I do here uh, dates it should work we get here 87 9 and 1995 another thing that's really great that you could try out is of course uh, this one um, format and sub uh, format distance and sub days um, so I'm gonna remove all the rest here and I'm gonna put here format and then format uh, distance sorry and sub days of course this is just to show you a little bit what it could be or could do and you have format distance then you have sub days of new date which is today and we say we subtract three days from it and then we have new date and we say add suffix true if we have here const f equals of course like i said before always nice to put everything on some kind of the same line and then if we do something like this console log f and we print it out you get three days ago and that's really something that i like that you can very easily if you have two days say okay i want to tell the how many days it's 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 a go from the current day then it says three days ago and you can explain it to your end user that just three days ago right and of course one of the things that I want to do is here create false and then if I do this and I run this you'll see that we get three days if you put add prefix to true and you save it you get for example um, three days ago right could also of course import uh, locale so that it will translate into the right language as well so another thing that I still want to show you and I'm gonna do that with const f2 equals and then I'm gonna show you format relative um, it's a little bit another way of how to see this but I think it's also a really great feature uh, is uh, to indicate what the relativity is between uh, two uh, dates and if I do console.log you will see what we will get out of that as well so you see here last Friday at 3.41 p.m. so today it's Monday then you have Sunday then you have uh, Saturday and then you have Friday if I put for example because it's today Monday if I put just 
two days less you will get on Saturday. And so again, great to just have some kind of uh, um, format there, but relative format there uh, and to play around with these uh, formats uh, in your application uh, to yeah, render out great um, indications on your application instead of just a date. You can say, hey, this was three days ago and uh, one uh, hour and three minutes. Or you can say, hey, this event happens last Saturday at and then a certain time, right? To go from this is today towards some days ago. And I think that's a great feature. It's very nice also for uh, usability to show these kind of indications than just a plain date. It reads very easily, in my opinion, and uh, could be a very good solution to implement into your application. Uh, a lot of people will maybe still using uh, Moment.js. It's a very big, uh, great library out there, but it could be nice to see if date uh, FNS could be a good replacement for that and if you could live with the fact that of course replacing a library like Moment.js with date, date FNS will be a big impact so uh, a lot of effort needs to be done of course because you need to test out a lot of your application itself it's putting one library with a lot of fundament uh, in regards to uh, the other library itself so again a good alternative again uh, i guess for moment or just there are others as well maybe i'm going to cover the, these other uh, possibilities uh, for date functions um, in another video for you um, i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it i hope you learned something uh, from it i hope you maybe are going to use this library into your application as well thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time